that's the people often say, I've always, I just want to swim with dolphins before I die, or I've always wanted to swim with dolphins. And you've, you, you've thoughts on that? Well, I mean, a lot of people do, you know. I mean, these are incredible creatures, and, um, uh, you know, people are of the opinion um, that, you know, they're beautiful creatures that will heal sick children, and they're amazing, but really, that's a selfish a uh, human-centric point of view because, you know, all these animals, whales in particular and dolphins, you know, they have two things that they want to do in life. That's to feed and to breed. Yeah. And, you know, the idea that we're going to get into the water with them and that they're, you know, you hear people say, oh, they came to me and they looked me in the eye and I have a connection. And, and they're smiling. And, and they're smiling, but they're not smiling. That's just kind of the way their mouth is, you know, and, and <laughs> they can't help it. But, you know, it's they incredible. They can't help themselves. And wild dolphins, you know, don't want to have much to do with it. The common dolphins, they'll always, every day we went out. Yeah. For the last few years, we had common dolphins. Then they'll come to the boat and they'll uh, swim along with you for a while. And once you get in the water, they're just gone. But it is a bit of an issue across the world, m more so with whales. I mean, I went to Norway in last November to try and film killer whales, orcas, yeah. and I can't say it was a circus because circuses are organised, generally speaking. But, yeah. you know, boats surrounding whales on all sides. And, you know, we got onto the skipper again on the radio. Can you tell him to stop? This is ridiculous. Right. And two, three metres within a mother and calf and a guy with his iPhone. And, and yeah. the, you know, what came back was, oh, you know, our clients want good pictures. And, to the north, there were 60 or 70 boats harassing these animals. Right. You see, you know, everybody wants to have this amazing experience with a wild animal, with a whale. And that's probably okay if there's few people doing it, but when you get thousands showing it's up... It's too much. You, and you can call me a hypocrite because I do it, but I mean, yeah. I like to think that our work has some conservation value and, like, the minkies that you saw there, it's, it's the first time it was filmed and there's an academic research paper now right. being written on that. Right, Maybe rather than 50 boats gathering around a whale and, and her... And her it's know. a little bit different, I suppose. Okay. You have to know how to, how to work with these animals too. And, and, and